But I think I, you know, the, the truth of it is, I put, I push, I like. There's, you know, I have different phobias, different ways of pushing people away. And the reason I do it is because I'm afraid of the alternative. I'm afraid to get close to somebody because I'm afraid to. For a lot of things, I'm afraid to lose the person I get close to. I don't know if I can handle that. I'm afraid they can hurt me. They can betray me in a way that would, you know, fuck with my sense of self. I'm afraid they're going to see parts. Of the, if they get past all the walls I built up for myself, they're going to see parts of me that I haven't accepted. Parts of myself that are flawed or fucked up or dark or broken or wrong or boring or inadequate or missing. They'll see parts of my personality that should be there but aren't are underdeveloped, you know, that, 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 that terrifies me. So I push people away. And it's not good. It's not like in a fun, folksy way. Sometimes it's harsh. And I've done fucked up things and I have to reckon with that as a human being. You know, but it all comes from a, a under, an underlying fear. Like I'm terrified of what would happen if I was truly exposed. And it's funny to me because I, you know, I do stand-up and a lot of times stand-up gets associated with bravery. Like, oh, you get up on stage, that's so brave. Like, I could never, it's so brave. And I get why people say that, because the fear of public speaking, but I'm not a brave dude. Like, I'm not. I'm not, like, this is not, like, th I get something out of this, too. There's a validation that I get, that I need to rise to a minimum level of self-acceptance. That's not brave, that's like addiction. <laughs> that's like codependence. It's like seeing a crackhead on the street sucking a dick, like, wow, he's so brave. Like. <laughs> I don't know if that's, it's risky. I don't know if it's brave. It's something else. And the reason this isn't brave is for a, a number of reasons. Is one, I know what I'm gonna say. That's not really vulnerable to know what the fuck, like it's written, like I wrote this shit. This whole bravery bit, I wrote it. I'm just saying to you right now the words that I wrote somewhere on a notebook somewhere. Even this part now, I'm like, oh, I wrote it. Yeah, I wrote that too. Like, it's all part of, it's all part of the same, it's the same illusion. And it is an illusion. And like the, like the, the idea of the, a live performance is still, there's still an illusory component to it because it feels real and it feels dangerous and there is an element of danger to it. But I am protected in a way. And I, and I know what it's like to be on the other side. Like, I've been on the other side, right? I used to watch stand-up. I used to watch stand-up on TV. And, I, and I, that's what it got me into it, because people would say some shit that I could relate to. I was like, and I felt connected to them. And I was like, oh my God, if I feel this connected to that person, imagine how, much, how connected they must feel to everybody. So if I could just get to the other side, I would feel that from everyone else. And so I got here. And I'm so alone. Like, it's like, <laughs> more so than I was. Like, that's the thing. It's, you, I, you're not connected with me. I'm giving you some ideas and some thoughts and material and whatever. And that's yours to keep. That's yours to have. You could take it. You could forget about it. You could like it. You could hate it. It's yours. But that's not me. You can't confuse that with, with who, who I am. You know? And that's the thing is, you know, I, I, this is a, it's a barrier. Even the, even the finding the funny in something is a barrier against the emotion behind the idea. Right? Like, I don't want to necessarily always find the funny angle in everything when it prevents me from dealing with it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to write a bit about loneliness if, I, if it means I have to feel alone. Like, I don't want to write a rant about love in the abstract without knowing what it is from the inside. Because I think love is the bravest thing a person can do. Like, that is, like, truly, like, to, to let your guard down and let somebody see you and you see them, you accept their flaws, you orbit that very center of love together, knowing best case scenario, one of you is going to watch the other one die, not trying to bum anyone out, but that's fucking brave as shit. They tell you at the wedding, they're like, this ends in death, and you're like, yep. It's like, what the fuck? How? How do you do that? You accept your mortality and then eat cake? Like, that's crazy. I can't... I can't do that. I can't handle that level of intimacy. That's why I do this. That's why I can't call this brave because this is me running from that shit. This is me establishing the same dynamic I established in a relationship. Right here. This show is, the, the, is my ideal relationship. How does it work? I come out here... I say whatever the fuck I want to say. You're not allowed to talk. <laughs> we share an intense moment together. I get what I need. And then I leave. 
You guys have been phenomenal. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Drew Michaels. Take care of your waist, Get home safe. Good night. Thank you.